damn good explanation for being here. Aliens! Aliens? It's always aliens! What do you mean aliens? Hey, look over there! What's up, guys, and welcome to the Pop Stop. I'm Joey. This is Bree Bree. Hey, guys. And over here we have Digby. Hey, guys. Wow, you are literally phoning it in. That's pretty bad. Well, it's still not as bad as Shia LaBeouf being Indiana Jones' son. Well, I can't argue with that. All right, today we're reviewing the Disney Parks exclusive Pop Indiana Jones Adventure number 200, which is Indiana Jones, and the Pop Ride number 19, Indy's Ride, which is also an NYCC exclusive. Mm -hmm. Now, these guys, of course, are based on the Indiana Jones Adventure Temple of the Forbidden Eye at Disneyland, which is, of course, based on the Indiana Jones movies. Yes, it is. All right, let's take a closer look at number 200. Digby, hit us with the 360. Here we have Pop Indiana Indiana Jones Adventure number 200, Indiana Jones. This pop is a Disney Parks exclusive. Full name, Dr. Henry Walton Jones Jr. Played by ha I mean, um, Harrison Ford. Fun fact, similar to the movie, the name Indiana was originally inspired by George Lucas's dog, which coincidentally was also the inspiration for Chewbacca. Now that is a full 360, back to you guys. All right, let's take a closer look at the box. Now on the front of the box, we have the Disney Parks silver sticker. On the side, you have the artwork of Indy with the map in the background. And on the back of the box, you have pictures of the theme park, the attraction, and it has a little bit of flavor text. Yeah, it's really neat. I like that it's all like math themed and stuff too. I think it looks really cool. Um, so this guy, uh, of course, as you can see, has the exact same head sculpt as the previous Indiana Jones pop with a really neat, actual sculpt on the hat and the only difference in the head is they decided to give him some like little cuts and scrapes and some rouge and stuff like that yeah they rouged his one cheek um and of course he has his little machete in his hand now this is probably my least favorite part about the pop it's just really flimsy i don't know the way the paint is on it there's no detail in it it just doesn't really do it for me it needs to have a dirty dirty look to it I it really like all my machetes are dirty it's really rugged but that part is just very lackluster um the rest of him though is really cool of course he's got his like shirt all half open with his chest ripping out and he's got his uh, sleeve that is ripped off and of course he has the Sankara stone in his hand and he's got just a basic pants basic boots with his little bull whip and his gun holster on the side uh, really neat thing on the back kind of a little surprise is the rips in his shirt on the back which look really really cool and of course equipped with his handy dandy bag it's a man purse it's called a satchel Indiana Jones wears one Overall, I really like this pop, but now let's take a look at Indy's Ride. Now let's take a look at Indy's Ride. Pop Ride Indiana Jones Adventure. Indy's Ride, number 19. This pop is an NYCC and Disney Parks exclusive. This ride debuted at Disneyland in March of 1995 and at Tokyo Disney Sea in September of 2001. Fun fact, the ride is designed to look like a battered military troop transport. It has three rows and holds a total of 12 passengers. Hmm, now that's a big ride. Yeehaw! Now that is the full 360. Back to you, guys. All right, let's take a closer look at the box. Now it has the same sticker as the other one, which is the Disney Park sticker, but if you bought this at NYCC, then it would have the NYCC exclusive sticker. Now on the back of the box, it looks like the same as the pop box also, except you have the picture of the actual pop ride on here. Now the neat thing about that blurb is this is actually based on the ride on the back of the box. So that's kind of neat to have the backstory. Uh, for starters, let's just kind of look at the two pops together. Obviously they have the exact same head, but of course we have the difference in the paint, but the bodies are completely different sculpts. Now, although this one is kind of plain Jane in a traditional pose, you know, it's neat that even his shirt is different because it's not all ripped up and it's just completely, completely different and it's a totally new sculpt. It's like, it's like a before and after. It is, it really is. And I mean, it's just neat that they actually put that much detail into it. 
So the ride is pretty cool. Obviously it doesn't necessarily look like a car. It looks more like the actual attraction or the ride, but they get a lot of really good details and it looks really neat. Even the paint with all the splatter and everything like that. I know you're not a huge fan not at of all. the ride. Not at all. If you're going to give me a car, these wheels better move. None of the pop rides move, but I do like this one. A little bit better at least it's the hard plastic it has a really good structure to it yeah it's not a bath toy like this DeLorean or a dog <laughs> yeah those are not the best design um, and I do agree with you the way that these are actually set up it really tricks you it looks like the wheel should move but they do not um, overall though really good structure and he sits in here pretty solid they did put two foot pegs in here so he does sit in here pretty nice and of course he just stands there looking all intense like with his fist to fury yeah, so I'm not a huge fan of the pop ride, but I did buy it just for the pop because I do like that we have a before and after. Now, there is one more Indiana Jones pop, which we do not have. It is the 199, and it was a uh, released uh, SDCC, SDCC and it, that one... And he has a coat on and everything, so he's in a totally different outfit. Totally different outfit, outfit uh, and that's actually based off of Raiders of the Lost Ark. And we don't have that one because it's expensive, and it was Very only at the con. Yeah. So it's going for about $180. Ooh. Well, that pretty much wraps up our review on the Disney Parks exclusive Indiana Jones Pop and Pop Ride. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to us on YouTube. As always, guys, you can follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and you can like us on Facebook. We'll put all those links right down below. Well, that's it for now. Keep it popping, people.